Praise be the name of Mr. Walker Too Well. Once in a lifetime, the clan of Pennsylvania, the place of the NFC East, Mr. 32 Mill, my bag. Wits. Ain't this what they've been waiting for? You ready? Uh. It is about damn time that everybody from the Cowboy fans who I'll deal with it in another time, Max Kellerman, Skip Bayless, and all the doubters had better show this man right here some damn respect. It's about time. By the way, it's your boy, Miss Miz, Cool Cat Connor up the YouTube representing Wetsylvania and the birds. It is about damn time that all of you. Give my quarterback some damn respect. You can talk about Dak all you want with the stats, not being injured, always healthy, got the best old line and defense in the game, got all the moves to make the girls go woo. But that mother. He ain't got a ring on his finger. My QB dead because he was 11 and 2 before he got hurt. Nick Foles, of course, gave us the hats, shirts, hoodies, coats, DVDs, and billboards. Watch the DVDs and watch the clips in 2017. Carson Wentz did that. If it wasn't for number 11, there would be no damn Super Bowl. If it wasn't for this man right here, there would be no damn Super Bowl. So it's about time that you give this man right here some damn respect. I don't care 
what you say. He got himself a ring. He earned it. At, even if he didn't play in the Super Bowl, he earned his Super Bowl ring. Where's Dak Prescott's ring? Does he get rings for NFC East championships? Does he get rings for wild card playoff wins? Does he get rings for divisional playoff game appearances? Hell no. You get a ring for winning a Super Bowl and thanks to Carson Wentz winning the NFC East for us in 2017, he got himself a ring. I don't give a damn if he's wearing his mother's. It's his ring. He earned it. Now give this man some damn respect. That's the problem with Max Kellerman. That's the problem with Skip. That's the problem with all you cowboy fans out there and everybody in the media. You want to hype that press guy. You want to make him the mind. You see this guy right here? You see him right there? 128 million. Guaranteed. 32 mil. We call him walking to him. Wins in the lifetime. The climb of Pennsylvania. The place of the NFC East, Mr. 32 mil, my black wins. This man right here got his money. Number 11 got his money. Where's Dak? Huh? Where's Dak's money? If he's better than Wentz, if he got all the stats and all the moves to make the girls go woo, where's Dak Prescott's money? He should be higher than Carson Wentz and Jared Goff since he's better than them. Where's Dak Prescott's money? Oh, he's getting franchise tag. This man right here didn't need no franchise tag. They paid him four more years. Added to this season and next season. So that's six. About to be five. So you're going to see this man for a long, long time. I wouldn't be shocked if Dak Prescott leaves the Dallas Cowboys organization for a franchise. This man would never... A franchise tag? A franchise tag. Everything this man done. A franchise tag. This guy right here would never get a franchise tag. Howie Roseman said 32 mil. 128 guaranteed. You're our franchise quarterback. We went all the way up to the draft number two to get you. Nick Foles. Who? And if, by the way, I'm so tired of all this Nick Foles, Carson Wentz stuff too. What would be the record if this man was in a different team, in a different uniform, and Nick Foles was the starter? What would be the record? What would be the record? Huh? Huh? What would be the record? If this man right here was in a different team, Maybe the Dolphins. The Dolphins would be Super Bowl contenders if this man was their QB. The Vikings and Falcons would be Super Bowl contenders if this man was on the team. The Bengals would be Super Bowl contenders if this man was on the team. The Deadskins would be Super Bowl contenders if this man was on the team. The Giants 
Super Bowl contenders if this man was on the team. Who else? The Cardinals? Super Bowl contender if this man was on the team. The Colts? Frank Wright's over there. Super Bowl contender if this man was on the team. With Frank Wright. The Jags? Don DiBilippo? Super Bowl contenders if this man was on the team. But we drafted him. And if Nick Foles was here, what would be the record? Let's review. Let, let's review. You think he would beat the Colts? No, 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 no. The games he, Carson Wentz lost from last year to this year. You think he would beat the Vikings twice? You think he would beat the Carolina Panthers? You think he would beat the Saints? You think he would beat the Cowboys twice? How about this year? You think he would beat the Cowboys? Or the Vikings? Or the Falcons? Or the Lions? Or the Patriots? Or Seattle? What would be the record? I bet you all were probably singing 16 and 0, 15 and 0, 13 and 3. Y'all, Nick Foles love his sons, bitch. Y'all better be thankful that this man is here. Y'all need to be in your hands and knees praying that this man is here. Oh. Oh, and here's something else all y'all can stop talking about. Because you all said that this man right here, this man right here, right? You see him? See him? This man right here, injury prone, right? Last two seasons, he was injury prone. Um, guess what, motherfuckers? It's week 16. For the first time since 2016, this guy right here has missed game. Yeah! Number 11 hasn't missed a game. So y'all can shut the hell up now. This man right here hasn't missed a game. Not this season. Yeah, 2018 and 17, fine. But this season, hasn't missed a game. He was clutch against the Redskins. He was clutch against the Giants. He will dominate the Cowboys. He will. Because what Jared Goff did, Carson Wentz won't do. To him, it's just a regular old game. To us Eagle fans, mm. put some respect on Carson Wentz's name. You got no choice. This is not a hate week to Cowboy fans because I got other videos for that. This is my show. The Demir Show. Me. Representing Wensylvania. Letting all you motherfuckers know. Put some respect on his name. You got no choice. Because when. Not if. But when. Carson. Walk it to him. Once in a lifetime. The king of Wensylvania. The blaze of the NFC East, Mr. 32 Mill Money Black Wentz. When he, not if, but when he beat the Cowboys, he's going to shut all of you up. Nick Foles, who? That press guy, who? Walk it to a Wentz of a lifetime, Money Black Wentz. The party beast of the East will be the cup, the party on Sunday night. We're gonna be celebrating that the Eagles win against the Cowboys. This the week after, 
I call it Carson Wentz Appreciation Night. That's what we're going to have. The second he beat the Cowboys, we're going to have a Carson Wentz Appreciation Night. Honoring this man. Because he damn earned it! Talk all you want about Nick Foles. Talk all you want about Dak Prescott. After this Sunday, you'll be mentioning one name. One man. One myth. One legend. The man we call Walk It To Him. Wins of the Lifetime. The King of Pennsylvania. The Beast of the NFC East. Mr. 32 Mill. Money bad Dallas slaying Wentz. You got no choice. Bend a knee and pledge your allegiance to Wentzylvania. You have no choice. Bend a knee, Cowboy fans, because after this game, you will bend a knee. And pledge your allegiance to Pennsylvania. Fly, Eagles, fly. Pennsylvania. Ain't this what they've been waiting for? You ready? You ready? Uh.